In this video, we're going to use StackCrunch and the Poisson distribution to compute a probability. So we're focusing on number six. It says Fishville has been experiencing a mean of seven piranha deaths each year. Find the mean number of deaths per day. So here, we first have to actually do this by hand. We want the mean number of deaths per day. We're told that seven people are killed each year. So we take the seven and we divide it by 365. So to do that in StackCrunch, you go to data, compute, and expression. You can also just use a calculator, which is much, much easier. <laughs> when you get here, you want to compute seven divided by 365. This is going to give us the daily average, right? We take the yearly average of seven and we divide by 365 to get a daily average. Then we click compute and there it is. There is the daily average. Now we can answer part B. Find the probability that on a given day there are more than two piranha deaths. So now we're going to use the daily average to answer this question because it's asking about something happening on a given day. So to use the Poisson distribution, we go to stat, calculators, and we look for Poisson. And there it is. When you click Poisson, you get this funny table. We enter the mean of 0 0.019, and we want more than two piranha deaths. So more than two is greater than two. And we change this number to a two, and hit compute, and there's the answer, that super small number. So let me do it one more time. You go to stat, calculators, and then you go down to Poisson. You type in your daily average, 0 0.019. It says more than two, so you change it to greater than. And then you change this to a two, and you click compute. And there is the answer. Part C. Find the probability that on a given day there are no piranha deaths. So that on a, on a specific day, nobody is killed by a piranha. So you go to stat, calculators, and then you go down to Poisson. Again, we enter the daily average, 0 0.019. And for nobody to die, that means x has to be equal to 0. So you enter equals and 0, and you click compute, and there it is. So the problem should have said that this is Poisson, uh, but usually when you have like an average over a period of time, like deaths per year or deaths per day, it's a good indication that you're gonna have a Poisson problem. I hope this video made sense.